Bonjour YouTube. Hello YouTube. Welcome to part two in the two-part series on how to type your accents on a computer. Um, part one was setting your keyboard to US International and part two will be actually typing these accents. Uh, my name is Duncan Hazelwood and you can reach me at any of these places below. Feel free to connect with me and I will do what I can to support you. So in part one, if you missed it, um, I showed you how to set your computer language to US International on a Windows 10 machine um, so that you can then very simply and easily type French or Spanish or German or Portuguese or other languages um, extremely quickly and easily on any regular um, English setup keyboard. Um, if you missed that video, please uh, go to this link, either search out on YouTube the title Set Your Keyboard Language to US International, or uh, follow this link and you will get to watch part one. Once your computer is set up um, for this language, then you'll be ready for part two, actually using the accents. In part two, I'm going to show you how to actually type the accents. And you'll find that uh, no longer are you going to have to use number lock and alt codes with all sorts of alt 130 and 135 and have to memorize all of those. No longer are you going to have to go to insert and symbol and find the correct symbol or uh, copy and paste from other software. You'll find that this method, once your keyboard is set up to US International, is extremely fluent and seamless between languages. And if you're anything like me, you probably operate in multiple languages and don't want to have your computer set just to one keyboard and one language all the time. So you'll find that this method is extremely um, effective and a great way to move forward. So this walkthrough will work seamlessly for any Windows-based software or application that uses a computer or a laptop. So you can use it in any of the Microsoft Office um, applications or programs. Um, you can use it for Gmail. You can use it for surfing the web. Um, you can type accents into pretty much anywhere with this method. So here's how you do the igu or the uh, acute accent. What you'll do is you'll press and then release the apostrophe key, which is on the right uh, next to your enter key. And then you will um, press on the key which you need to put the accent onto. So I've chosen the E most of the times here because that's the most common one in French. Uh, but in Spanish, that might be an I or, a, or an A or all sorts of other letters. Um, and obviously, if you want it over a capital, uh, you're going to do a shift E. So apostrophe, E, or apostrophe, then let go of the apostrophe key, and then choose the letter you want to put the acute accent onto. So if you just want to type an apostrophe, you're going to need to press the apostrophe and then a space bar after the apostrophe to avoid put, putting an acute accent onto the next letter that you press. That's really the only small thing that, that you need to get used to with the US International Keyboard. And uh, you'll find that if you're writing in English, it usually figures that out for you automatically anyhow. So the Grave accent, um, straightforward, very much the same kind of thing. This time the Grave accent is in the top left hand corner. So press and release the grave or the tilde key, which is just below your escape key. You're going to release that key and then again you'll just select the letter that you want to put that accent onto. And if you want it capitalized, you'll do a shift E, for example. So again, circumflex accent, l'accent circonflex. Um, same deal. This time you'll notice it's above the six. If it, any of those uh, characters above your numbers are at the top of the keyboard, uh, you use a shift to get to those. So we do the same here with this accent. So you're going to press uh, both the shift and the six key together. Then you release them and you're ready to select the letter that you want to put your circumflex onto. Uh, often it's an E in French, but it, it could be an A or an O. It could be uh, Various different letters depending on the language you're using. Um, so, and again, you'll use a shift to get it onto a capital E, for example. Very straightforward. The tréma or the, the umlaut, uh, the two dots sort of um, above your letter, um, same deal. You're going to need to press both the shift and the apostrophe key together this time. So, it's your main keys to remember are the apostrophe key next to your enter and your tilde key just below the escape. 
So press uh, both the Shift and Apostrophe key together, then release them, and again, then select the key on which you want, or the letter on which you want to put your accent. Cedilla, or the little five underneath your C, um, is again your apostrophe key. So um, you're gonna select that, and then you're gonna press your C. If you want it on a capital, you will uh, capitalize it very easily by um, just doing a Shift C instead. Um, very straightforward. So again, because it's on the apostrophe and you're not doing a shift or anything like that, uh, if you're typing in English or if you're doing a word like j'aime, for example, in French, the J apostrophe, uh, you'll need to do an apostrophe space to make that work out. Um, to do the guillemets or the French speech marks, those are your square brackets just above the apostrophe key. And um, this one's the, the only one that requires a bit of a key combination. Um, very straightforward. You're going to press and hold both the control and the alt key together. You're going to hold those and then you're going to select the um, left or the right bracket, square bracket, depending on which guillemet you need to put in. Um, so very straightforward. It's, it's control and alt, hold those down, and then select the left or right guillemet, whichever you need. If you're doing the le dans la, or the, the ligature, the AE um, in capital or in lowercase, this one's, uh, you need to use the right alt key just to the right of the space bar. And you're going to hold it, and you're going to press the Z key. And that'll give you your ligature, and um, if you want it on a capital, obviously do the shift Z. Um, one strange thing about this is that even the French keyboards don't have the OE combination. Um, and um, I looked all over the place and couldn't find that. So if you can, please comment on it in the, in the, in the comments in the bottom. But as far as I can tell, um, the only way to get that is to do an insert or to um, do your, um, your alt codes or that kind of thing. So um, the alt code is uh, 0140. Um, and if you're used to doing accents, you know exactly how to use alt codes, I imagine. Um, cut and paste works as well, but um, seeing as it's extremely rare, it shouldn't be a big problem. If you happen to be using a language other than French, which is uh, the community I primarily serve, um, you might be looking for some different accents. So you might be looking for the S set if you are writing in German. We've already covered the umlaut earlier on. And uh, if you are writing Spanish, uh, you might be looking for the upside down exclamation mark or question mark. So to reach those, those are really straightforward as well. Just like the last slide, you're going to use the right alt key. So press and hold the right alt key and then you're going to follow it with, depending on which letter you're looking for, you'll follow it with an S if you're looking for the S set. That makes sense. It's very logical. Um, if you're looking for the upside down question mark, you're going to press and hold the right alt key and just press the question mark. Again, very easy. And for the um, exclamation mark, it's exactly the same idea. So you're going to press and hold the right alt key. And then you're going to press the uh, number one. So to uh, that's very straightforward. If you're looking for an enye, um, again, same idea. You're going to press and hold the right alt key, and you're going to just simply press the letter N, as shown right here. If you happen to be looking for a cheat sheet or something like that to print out and just have next to your computer for a couple of days while you get used to these really simple shortcuts, um, this slide might be helpful for that. You could easily uh, print that or take a screenshot and keep it next to your computer uh, for future reference. And that's it. Thanks so much for watching. Please comment and like in, uh, in the box below. Um, if you need to get a hold of me, this is where you can reach me. And I uh, look forward to uh, being able to hear your comments of how you are now typing fluently in all sorts of languages. À la prochaine!